Hello, hello YouTube and Facebook. Jeremy Channel 333 coming right back at you again. Right now I'm close to the Ohio River. I don't know if you can get a real good view of it the way. <laughs> but nonetheless, there it is. It's really difficult to see, so I don't know if I caught it or not. But I'm at my grandmother's in Haverhill, Ohio, next to Franklin Furnace and in between Ironton and Portsmouth. Uh, what I have to say, I will try to keep this short and sweet. Um, my thoughts, you know, the ice catastrophe, uh, that's what I call it. Uh, here in the, I live in a tri-state area, and we've been very blessed and fortunate. You know, not unlike a lot of the southern states and the west coast, you know, they have the fires to worry about out there. And, and amongst the many things and earthquakes and volcanoes, especially in Hawaii and stuff. And then, uh, you know, on the East Coast, you know, they got to worry about if it's the ones that's on, on the, in the, uh, that lives closer to the, to the oceans, they have to worry about, uh, you know, um, hurricanes and floods. Now, we have to worry about floods around here, but there's some parts are worse than other. West Virginia... I lived there for 17 years. Floods are pretty bad in some parts of West Virginia. They had a record uh, recorded flood there a few years ago. It came so fast. It was like one of the fastest recorded floods in history. And uh, <clears throat> I'm wanting to remember, it was the local county, but uh, it was close to Cabell, but it, it was maybe out a couple counties. I can't remember which county, if it was Mingo or it was one of those, but the, it was pretty bad pretty devastating but for the most part we've been pretty fortunate and texas you know i I, th I encourage all to pray for the people in texas they had no way of being prepared for what happened and uh you know really really difficult for them for their their power grid and, and uh, their homes and just being on point preparedness you know uh a place that doesn't have winters like we do up here up north and uh so I encourage I, I've been praying but um I'm very fortunate that the Lord has given me somewhere to stay to stay warm and uh to have hot showers and a hot meal to eat uh, God bless my grandmother <laughs> so uh you know um I'm very very grateful very very humble and very very grateful There's one of the neighborhood cats <laughs> and the trash is back there <laughs> and my grandmother feeds a lot of them she has an inside cat. They call him Bobby Cat. And then uh, um, she has a dog named Sugar, a Chihuahua. She's just adorable little baby. <laughs> I'd love to show those pets off. <laughs> and speaking of pets, you know, my dad safely has them with him over in West Virginia right now. But we're, uh, we had trees fall down. We pretty much live on top of the mountain and completely surrounded by trees. We had my brother in law, Chad. He had cut down quite a bit of those trees for us. We had no way anticipating that the ice storm could do so much damage. That first night it was a Monday after 10 p.m. last week. I can remember it like yesterday. Um, those trees fell every five minutes near our home. And one almost struck our trailer. We was fortunate. I praise the Lord for that. That it didn't, but it brushed up. It hit our heating pump unit and our small pole with the meter on it which we're responsible for so he has to get the aep company to cooperate with us and shut power the power down off of that and we had to set set it up and you know his insurance has covered it it's just a matter of time um but i'm very humble and i'm very grateful and I, I, the lord always provides but uh in case you've been wondering why i haven't been performing a lot lately and haven't been mass producing videos that's why um I have a lot of encouragement from my church members and stuff. Um, Danny and Danny Newman and Becky and stuff and, and Brenda. And I'm hoping that things can come around for, for me better. I know the Lord always provides a way. But sooner or later I'll be back into uh, um, praising and, uh, you know, this, uh, like I said, I could be a lot more fortunate with this cancer. And, you know, I know the Lord is really 
made it much better for me, and I praise the Lord for it. But um, I just, I guess, the message, general message here, is to encourage people to pray for others. There's many people right now who have, does not have power, and they are struggling, and they don't have family or anywhere to go to. So, um, if if you somebody that if this video could just reach just one individual that could help somebody. <laughs> I don't. I need to get my razors in my truck soon. Uh, this beard's gotten pretty full. <laughs> uh, well, well. In closing, I just uh, encourage everyone: if you could be a difference maker in any way, shape, or form, be a difference maker. And, and prayer is a great. Like I always tell everyone, prayer is the greatest compliment we can do. We take it to the Most High. Father God, Father Abin, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Lord God Almighty. <clears throat> so uh, there's no greater compliment we can do is, is to pray for others. Um, what's impossible with man is possible with God. Well, God bless each and every one of you. And um, I really just encourage you know to share this. And maybe you do your part. And, and if you, by sharing, you can also help this channel grow. And there's a lot of great things in the future to come with Jeremy Channel 30, 333. Those who have listened to my songs, they know I'm getting better. Um, not tooting my own horn. I, I praise God for it. He's given me a blessing with my acoustic guitar. And um, I just, like I say, encourage people to follow Simplistic Guitar. He's a good teacher, a good trainer. He, he's taught me well. But... Um, I really believe I have good something good there to provide you, the viewer and the subscriber. And I, you know, I always try to come through on my promises. There's one promise that I've failed on to deliver, and that's to do a full video. I mean, I've done videos about Peter, but I just haven't done a full out to finish off that Apostle series. I have just never honestly been led to actually, I think, to follow through. It's always about the right timing with the Lord. But uh, I will deliver on that sooner or later. <laughs> now I'm signing off.